What is up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Destiny. In today's video, we're pulling back the secrets in the Zero Hour mission. There's a secret puzzle that you'll need to complete if you want to unlock all the intrinsic traits on the Outbreak Perfected and also get your hands on the exclusive exotic ship. And today we have a full breakdown of the entire puzzle as well as the solutions for every single week. So be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a comment and rating down below. And remember to subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. But without further delay, guys, let's jump into the video. Now with the return of the Zero Hour mission, we have some new secrets to find and finally can get our hands on the craftable Outbreak Perfected. As well as new perks, you'll also be able to unlock new intrinsic traits, further improving the weapon. Now to kick this all off, you will need to pay Ada 1 a visit over in the tower. You'll have a new quest, an exotic quest called Asset Protection. This requires you to complete the exotic mission Zero Hour and you can launch this mission from the Into the Light subscreen on the main in-game director. Now it does give you the opportunity to run normal and legend difficulty. The normal difficulty requires you to complete the entire mission in 40 minutes, with the legend difficulty only providing 20 minutes, but also providing additional surges. Now to complete asset protection though, you can get away with running this on the normal difficulty. You will then need to return to Ada 1 who will grant you the craftable outbreak perfected. Now if you own the catalyst previously, you'll be able to reshape this and reapply this to the weapon. But if the catalyst is something that you're missing, then you can pick this up for completing the legend difficulty. And this will also house secret switches to unlock further augment perks that you can slot into the outbreak perfected. And we'll have a video covering all the switch locations later in the week. So be sure to keep your peepers peeled for that. But once you've unlocked and gained access to the Outbreak Perfected, you'll be able to start completing secret puzzles, which all gain progress to unlock another Mana Junker exotic ship. This is a new updated ship, which has been sievified for the return of this mission, and this will unlock week over week for completing each of the three puzzles. Now you will need to own the Outbreak in order to trigger these puzzles. Shortly after starting the mission and clearing the first area, there are three three keypads on the left hand side. It's not entirely clear if these are required as part of this puzzle as you can progress it by ignoring these. So these could either be something for a later date or even leftover assets from the reprisal of the mission. That being said, you want to clear out the main courtyard over in the tower. And this is where we'll find our first Siva keypad. Now by activating this keypad, this will show us part of the Siva symbol. And this will be broken up into three pieces. With these three pieces being spread throughout the courtyard. After shooting each symbol, you'll need to return to the keypad to check the screen. See which symbol is next in the sequence. Now these three symbols can be found on the side of the old Eververse over on one of the old vaults or even underneath the courtyard if you head towards the hangar and turn around. Now defeating the correct symbol does provide a temporary hold on the timer making it easier to complete but once you've destroyed all three parts of the symbol using your outbreak perfected you'll see a prompt on screen saying sequence activated. Now sequence activated is whereby the main barrier that was blocking some of the puzzle rooms in the old puzzle room which you'll find after the cryptarch vault but prior to the final fight have now been removed. Each week you'll need to complete a new sequence puzzle in order to remove another barrier, allowing you to enter that room and complete the corresponding weekly puzzle. Now as well as Siva sequences each week, the rotation of the furnace room will also change. So the route that you take on legend and the normal difficulty do vary. However, if you do run this on normal, not only do you have more time, but in fact, in one of the side rooms in the vault, you'll in fact find a map showing you the exact route you need to take in order to progress first time through the furnace room. This will save you a huge amount of time, allowing you to complete the puzzle with ease by removing some of the time pressure and even allowing you to go on to complete the mission within the time frame. Now this brings us nicely to the puzzle room itself. This was the home to the original puzzle which required elemental keys, which is likely what we saw at the beginning of this mission. However, this time we now see a screen which has a room layout showing which rooms are online and all the terminals that are in the room. Now next to that you'll also see a variety of shapes as well as different arrows in various colours. Now as we know we always enter the room from the back which means we read the map from bottom to top. Now first of all we need to identify what the shapes mean. Now these shapes are represented by the terminals in each room and these terminals are placed to represent those exact shapes. 
So as you can see, the room in the bottom left are in a square sequence. The room in the top left being in a diamond with the single room on the right providing the third and final shape. So now we've identified each and every room. We now know the sequences to each of the puzzles and the arrows themselves in fact represent the terminals in those rooms. And as you can see, each room has four black terminals and you'll also see six red terminals in the main room lobby. Now the puzzle for week one can be found in the square room. And to help complete this, we're gonna number the terminals from one to six. And the arrows represent the location of that terminal, looking at the map from bottom to top. So in the square room, we have the top right terminal, which will be number one. The bottom right terminal will be number two. The bottom left terminal in the main lobby will be number three, with the bottom left terminal in the square room being number four. The top left terminal being number five. And finally, the red terminal in the top left of the main lobby will be number six. Now, by activating all these terminals in that exact order, this will complete week one of the Vamana Junker puzzle, unlocking additional intrinsic traits for the Outbreak Perfected, as well as the schematic for the exotic ship. Now, as for week two, this takes place over in the Diamond Room that you can find in the top left-hand corner of the room. Now, the first terminal is the one that you see immediately as you enter the room with number two being to the left of you on the bottom side of that room, with number three being found at the very back. For number four, we need to leave the room and go to the main lobby, and you'll find this on the red terminal on the right side of the room, which is opposite where the diamond room is located. Number five will be the middle terminal on that side of the room, with the sixth and final terminal being found back in the diamond room, and you'll find this on the right-hand side as you enter the room itself. Now completing all six of those in sequence will complete the second week's quest, unlocking further intrinsic traits. And as for week three, this will be the third and final room. The sequence starts outside of it though, with the first being found on the middle terminal on the left hand side of the room in the main lobby. And you can find number two also in the lobby. This will be on the right hand side of the room and is the terminal closest to the final boss encounter. The four remaining terminals can be found directly in the room, with the third terminal being found at the back on the right-hand side. The fourth is the one directly next to it on the left-hand side, and you'll find number five also on the left-hand side of the room. And if you turn around, the sixth and final sequence will be on the right-hand side of the room. And this will complete the third and final puzzle. It will unlock all the additional remaining intrinsic traits, as well as access to the Vamana Junker exotic ship. So there we have it guys, a good look at the exotic puzzle in the Zero Hour Mission. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to check out one of the two videos you see here in these cards for more Destiny 2 content. And if you want to keep up to date with everything to do with Destiny 2, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to be the game as always guys, and I will catch you all again very soon.